Technology is evolving, and with it, self-driving cars have gone from something that was once a far-fetched dream to what now feels inevitable. And even though we know self-driving cars are coming, it's not going to happen all at once. Here are the five levels of autonomous driving on our way to that self-driving car future. At level zero, manual driving. Now, level zero is not typically counted as one of the levels of autonomous driving, but it's still worth mentioning. Here, there's no driver assistance at all. You as a driver are therefore completely in charge of all driving responsibilities, including breaking up that fight going on between your kids in the backseat. Next is level one, driver assistance. At level one, you as the driver are still completely in control of driving, but the car will have functionality to support you. At level one, you must have your hands on the wheel, but the car can control either steering or speed, but not both at the same time. At this level, your car will have features like emergency brake support, lane keep assist, cruise control, and so on. Next is level two, partial automation. At level two, you are still driving and you must still have your hands on the wheel, but your car can now control several of the driving tasks, including steering, and speed. At level two, your car is now capable of doing things like parking, lane centering, and advanced cruise control. Next, level three, conditional automation. This is where things start to get really interesting. At level three, you can now let your car take over the driving, but only under certain conditions, like highway driving and traffic jam. At this level, your hands can finally be off the wheel and you can let your car do the rest. You can now pick up a book, do some light gaming, or even now fully participate in that brawl going on in your backseat. What's important to know about level three is that you must be ready to take over driving if the car requests you to do so. Cars like the Tesla Model S and the Mercedes-Benz EQS are what you should think of as level three self-driving cars. Next is level four, high automation. At level four is where cars like the Audi Skysphere fall. You should think of these as autonomous vehicles that you can drive. Your car can now drive itself and you can do other activities without having to supervise the car. And if you feel like taking over for your driving pleasure, you can always take back control of the car whenever you wish. Under special circumstances like a heavy snow day, it is possible that driving can still be handed back to you. But even then, the car will alert you. And if you do not respond because you're asleep, for example, the car will still park safely on its own and come to a stop. Lastly, level five, full automation. At level five, cars not only require no driver, but also get rid of all driving features, including the steering. Your car now drives itself, meaning everyone in your car can now enjoy the journey as a pure passenger. Even though we still have a long way to go before we get to level five, companies like Zooks are already working on it. Things like robo-taxis and long-distance freight trucks are some of the interesting ways that level five autonomous vehicles are being put to use. We have a really exciting future ahead and hopefully this video gives you a better understanding of what to look out for as we approach it. As always, thank you for watching. I look forward to talking to you in the next one.